Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and I'm going to show you how to make an impressive but easy dessert. Flourless chocolate cake with orange scented whipped cream. So the first step is I've separated some eggs. I need six eggs. I put my whites in my mixing bowl and my yolks in this bowl. So I'm going to put about six tablespoons of sugar into my egg yolks. I've got 12 tablespoons here. So about half of that's going to go in. A good splash of vanilla. You want to do about a teaspoon. So we're just going to mix this together. You just want this to be light and fluffy. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to carry on with the egg whites. So I'm just going to start this mixer on, on high. Okay, so when the egg whites start to get foamy, just like this, this is the point where you want to add in the remaining six tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so here's what the egg whites should look like. Again, we're looking for a medium firm peak. You can see they're nice and shiny, and they hold their peak just like that. That's exactly what we want. Now, chocolate is the key ingredient in this cake, so you definitely don't want to skimp. You want to use a nice quality chocolate, bittersweet. Now, I've melted it with a little bit of butter, actually about 12 tablespoons of butter, so it's, you know, not so much of a little bit, but anyway. So we'll just whisk this in. I'm going to take about a third of the egg whites here, put them into the chocolate batter, and we're going to do what's called lightening it. So you can actually do this with a whisk. Just really quickly incorporate it in, just like that. Okay, so we're going to make this cake in a springform pan. I just took a sheet of parchment paper, traced the bottom, cut it out. It's going to work beautifully to release the cake. Okay, so the flourless chocolate cake is out of the oven and it looks beautiful. Now, don't be alarmed that it's sunk in the middle and it's cracked on top. It's actually supposed to look like cracked earth. So let's get on with our orange scented whipped cream. Now, I'd like to make sure that I don't over whip the cream. You definitely just want soft, billowy clouds of whipped cream. If you take it too far, it actually turns into butter. So I just pile this into the center. I like to sprinkle it with a little bit of cocoa powder. The finishing touch is a little thin slice of orange. How gorgeous is that? So there you have it, a really impressive dessert without a lot of effort. I'm really excited for you guys to give this a try and let me know what you think. I'll show you how to make these recipes and more at goodbite.com.